Welcome everybody to a walkthrough as well as gameplay tips and spots for the new map Vertigo on the Uprising DLC. This is a much larger map, more reminiscent of the Modern Warfare 2 High Rise and has a definite feel of downhill. I'm going to take a look at the actual walkthrough, all the spots, show you guys the actual map in case you aren't getting the DLC or you're thinking about buying it haven't gotten into the map yet. If you watch these videos a few times, I'm doing this for all the different maps, link in the description below that are coming out today. Uh, if you walk through these, get a feel for it. You can definitely go into the maps much stronger or get an idea if you're interested in buying something like this. This has much more feel, like I said, towards the downhill map where there's a lot of intricate <laughs> routes that you can take and you'll see what I mean in a few minutes here. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Without further ado, let's drop it down here on Vertigo. Alright guys, welcome to the new map Vertigo. We're going to be starting out over on the A side, as you can see on the mini-map, I'm over on the very far right side. I'm going to show you the bottom route first, as you can see this is the ADOM. This is a much more intricate map than the other ones so far from what I've seen. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to start you over on the bottom or the left side if you're looking towards A. There's three different ways you can really go over here. There's one that's a very outside route. As you can see, this will take you all the way down over here. There's a little room even in here that you can go in on this very outside route. Uh, you could jump down from here as well as over here. And there's actually a, a ladder up over here as well as back over here by the C, where we originally came from, or excuse me, A, where we originally came from. All right, now if you wanna take the uh, kind of medium outside route, I guess you could say, there's a few different things you can get behind here as well as climb on top of, not that it'll help you out too much. And then you can come through this quick route right here, as well as just run right around the quickest or most direct route right here. Now you can also climb up on this. A lot of people haven't been noticing this yet. It's the only way to get up here. Uh, you know, you can kind of lie down here. There's not too much cover. This is not going to protect you, trust me. Uh, but a lot of people, this is a very common spawn area, so uh, this could be pretty prime spot. Now if you go all the way on the outside, you can actually jump down here, clear the gap. Oh, and you could barely make it over here. Somebody got me. I'll show you at the gameplay at the end. He got me. I didn't even know you could go down there at that point. But that pretty much wraps up the left side, or rather the bottom of the map over there from A. Now, if we head over to the top side, or right side, you can head all the way on the outside over here. Or you can take the more direct route right over here. As you can see, both taking you over towards actually the middle you guess you could consider this the middle as well as the uh, right outside top route over here. Now if you take the top one, this is what we saw in the trailer. Um, this is the ladder as well as this little bar over here. So there's three different walkways you can kind of go on that, that as well as you can actually come over right here and do maybe a 360 ladder stall, no scope, suicide shot right there. That'd be pretty epic. I don't know man. Quote me on that one, <laughs> uh, as you saw. Anyways, that was the right side. Now I'll take you up the middle route. And then we'll move over to BDOM afterwards, or the actual middle section of the map. But if you do take the middle route here, you can hop right on down this path and uh, get a nice vantage point on B. Very symmetrical coming into the middle of the map. BDOM. Uh, there's a few things you can climb up on, including this. You can't get up there, unfortunately. You can't climb up that. Cl can climb that. Cannot climb that. Um, and that pretty much wraps up everything that's kind of significant over at ADOM. So let's go ahead over to B. Alrighty, now in the middle of the map, <clears throat> as you can see, we're going to take a look at BDOM. A came from right over here. This is what I was just showing you now at BDOM. This is a really awesome BDOM. It's right in the middle of the map, but it's got a nice amount of cover and it's really fun kind of area. As you can see, the middle just drops off so you can't actually just jump over this. You can, but you'll die. <laughs> so don't do that. You can shoot through the glass here. You cannot break that, but it is, you can shoot through it. It is just like a type of glass. Uh, it'll just allow you to hide, so that's kind of the purpose for it. Now, um, we saw BDOM over there. I'll show you this side first, which is actually the bottom of the map. If you saw if we went left out of that A location, it'll take you over here. There's a nice little middle area here. Cannot go up here, unfortunately. I would have loved that. It would have been very resemblant, resemblant to the uh, helicopter, if you remember Modern Warfare 2's High Rise. That's what I was hoping about that, but that's all good, though. Uh, they still have a nice open area. So as you saw, you can get up there. 
Uh, you can climb this, but you cannot get up to there. Uh, it might allow you to get a vantage point on this guy, though, if he's coming around there. That could be really helpful. A lot of people do spawn right here. Uh, you can also jump down to there, as I did mention previously. Now, uh, you can stay up in this area, like I said, go in there. Or you can come actually down and around here. Now, there's nothing else down here besides just an outside flank route. If you're trying to be stealthy, um, you, you know, come around on a flank, like I said. And that'll take you over towards the Sea Dom area. Now, there's two ways to get over to sea from here. This is kind of a bottleneck. And then you can either go here or here. So we'll go ahead and show you this first little room. Uh, some people definitely be camping in the corner here. So got to be careful for that. And then this will show you, as you can see, Sea Dom. Now, you can also come right through the middle here. A little bit more of a direct route, as you can see coming right there and I'll show you full C Dom in a second here but I'm gonna head back over to B and uh, continue with this as you can see coming right back through here these doors actually are motion sensitive so when you get close it'll open it uh, you can also hear them opening and closing so that is kinda gonna be good for search as well as other game types you know if you play with headphones you know how helpful it can really be not so much in ground war because there's a little too much action going on but in domination type maps it can be good now uh, if you come over here you cannot cap from there but you can cap from right around here so you're still gonna be visible unfortunately and uh, you can actually get a pretty good spot here now if you notice there's no stairs here and there is stairs here I'll show you that in a second as you can see you can hop out right here climb the ladder and as you can see we're at the top of the map if you went right over on an A uh, this was that route that I showed you here you climb up those stairs from down by A come over here uh, hopefully this is ringing a bell and uh, you can actually jump like that which is kind of risky, or you can actually <clears throat> take the ladder down. So say you're over here, jump on the ladder, push A, and fall and die to your death because you're a noob like myself. <laughs> if you jump too quickly, then you actually have to regenerate your jump. If you, you know, you should know that. But like if you jump, you can't just jump instantly. You gotta let your jump regenerate. I should have done that right there. But if you're on the ladder and you push A and your uh, jump is full, so I'll show you here. So if I'm on the ladder and I just jump off, holding backwards I did there. Um, so let me see if I can do it. Yeah, so pull backwards when you jump off of that and you'll do a nice soft landing. Now if you actually head up here and move into this room, <clears throat> you can go out here to Sea Dom, which like I said I'll show you in a second, or you can go down the stairs right here. Now this is unique, it's not a symmetrical map in that sense. Um, and you'll see some more differences once we get over to Sea Dom here, but uh, you can climb these stairs here for a quick route in here or head around back here. So that wraps up the middle portion of the map. Let's head over to CDOM for the, for the remainder. Finally, we're gonna take a look at CDOM. Taking a look at the map, it's on the very left side of the map. I'm gonna show you the top side first, getting a feel for it right there. So there's the flag, and the, the most direct route to the top or the left side is moving right up over here. As you can see, you can either go down the stairs there, this will take you down to BDOM, which we've seen a few times now. And then you can also go over here, which we've also seen a few times now for that ladder, fall to your death, some good stuff right here. Now, one thing a lot of people haven't noticed yet is you can actually go around on the outside, come around this way, as well as go around for that deep flank route. Similar to the other side, there's one of these that dropped down. Now, the other one was on the bottom of the map. This one's on the top. That's part of that reverse symmetrical I think I mentioned um, earlier. So you can drop down here. No fall damage is taken. You can get a nice head glitch here, which is really awesome. Uh, this one is not so effective. There's really not too many impressive head glitches. That's probably one of the better ones. As you can see, really blend in with the chair and the computer there. So it's a, it could be decent. People will recognize you a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, so you can come through this way. You can also jump up here. And as you can see, coming back over to the top, this was where we hopped down. You can also climb up this. Ooh, almost fell off there. You can also climb up this just like that. So maybe if you have dexterity, you can actually run really quick, hop up there. Maybe you're doing a flag run with the, uh, you know, capture the flag. Do that. People won't be able to chase you quite as easily. Now heading over towards the middle. Uh, as you can see, nothing really impressive for capturing wise. Uh, you can actually, I'll just show you this real quick, you can't really do anything here. you got to be in the actual area. Now you can come up on here a little bit, but I don't see how this would help you. You're just kind of more exposed. Anyways, if you do come up over here, take a look at this. You cannot go in the corner here. This is something they probably need to implement in more corners. You can see, because it kind of keeps you exposed. Otherwise, if you went in that corner, 
I mean, you'd just be camping your little noob ass off and nobody would like you. So that's kind of nice that they blocked that off with an invisible shield. I like that. Now coming over towards the middle, once again, this reverse symmetrical part, you can get a barrier here, but you know, it's not really that effective. As I mentioned, the kind of reverse symmetrical part, the entry point for CDOM is right there, but for A, it's right there. They get a full, a much longer corridor to go down. Uh, there's also a little water cooler there so you can get behind here uh, for capturing. So it's a little bit better, but uh, I mean, pretty much it's the same, but that's what I was talking about reverse symmetrical. There's one there, there's one there, it's opposite. We had the uh, jump spot being on the bottom for ADOM and the top for CDOM. So, you know, it's a little bit different. This is kind of like downhill though, where there's so many different intricate routes that you could take. I think people are not gonna like this map quite as much. I think it's pretty cool, it's pretty interesting, but like I said, I don't think people are gonna like this one, this one quite as much as Encore or the firing range map that was brought back. So taking a look now at the bottom route, you kind of already saw this. There's this one, you can go in the building here, or this route over towards there. So that pretty much wraps it up for the actual uh, showcasing of the map. So let's go ahead, take a look at some gameplay and talk about the map. As I mentioned a few times now, this is definitely a larger, more intricate map. But the thing is, I think this has a lot more playability. I don't know how other people are going to react to it. Let me know if you've played it or now that you've seen it, what you think about it in the comments down below. But I think this is going to be a pretty fun one that not a lot of people are going to really choose. Um, I like the sliding door in the middle. The B-Dom area is really, really nice. I like how it's uh, laid out. Um, the outside route, I wish you could have gone up by that little flying jet thing, but that's all good like i said um oh sit down with the c4 i go hand with the c4 i get a triple coming up here in a second oh yeah triple baby um but no, I think this is a really good map. Like I said, you just have to really work with the outside routes. And if you use an assault rifle, that's what I was using. That's what I think is really going to be the best use on this map. There is a lot of close range situations. You can make use of the shotgun or SMG. But this outside route here, definitely assault rifle area. The, the very top of the map where you saw the ledge where the ladder was, definitely assault rifle area. The middle of the map, definitely assault rifle area because of that open gap that you see there. So, you know, there's really a lot of different places that you can use... Uh, uh, the assault rifle or even the sniper like I said this is gonna be a huge sniping map people are gonna be doing suicide shots that was something we'd love to see in Modern Warfare 2 so I'm really excited to see some of those clips hit if you guys do hit any trick shots things like that on this map be sure to send it to my world's best clip of the week series and right there oh uh, I didn't e see if I would watch this video I would have known that that was a ledge I was like oh there's a ladder here maybe he Jump down there? What? I did. He killed me when I jumped down. I didn't even know you could go there. So that's another. Oh, triple C4, son. But see, that's another good thing about these videos is that if you watch this a few times, you're going to know every part of the map completely, you know, and uh, then you have a really strong advantage compared to the other people who are just starting out um, or, you know, things like that. Also, it gives you a better feel for it. So. I don't know. Uh, that pretty much wraps up the gameplay in the video, though. If you guys want to check out the other maps that came out today in the Uprising DLC, be sure to check out the description down below or annotations on screen. That's it for this video, though. I'll see you guys next one. This is Stone Mountain 64 signing out.